Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tafalarota. I just wanted to share two new decks that I received this week. Um, as you know, I live in Europe, so getting decks from the US is usually quite pricey. And I'm lucky enough to have a good friend uh, who lives in the US and she comes to visit her family uh, in Poland. And sometimes I get decks delivered to... Uh, to the States and she will bring them for me and that happened with these two decks I bought them months ago and then I had to wait till she gets here so first is Usi um, Pagan Otherworld Tarot I know that everyone already has done uh, the unboxing and stuff like this so I was lucky enough to watch all the videos that didn't uh, break the seal here and I keep opening this deck from the bottom uh, well, what can I say about this deck? I I am definitely not disappointed with it. It's really an amazing deck. It's uh, so well done. To you know, every detail is just gorgeous and beautiful and well finished. The paper is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see if it will pick up, but it feels a little bit like a canvas. Um, it's one of my favorite cards. So amazing let me see if it focuses for you so that's seven of cups as you can see it follows Rider Waite Smith tradition um, it's pipish but it also has some um, like a tiny bit of illustration to help you get the meaning so pagan other words uh, feels kind of in nearly sacred I don't know I know that people were saying that a fountain tarot is kind of perfect and for me this deck it's kind of like perfect I love the frame I like how the frames are made that they you know not sharply add like finished but just this gentle flowing way of um, connecting to the frame and the the images are so beautiful. You can see like true artistry of Uzi Studio and how they um, created this deck. The writing itself, so amazing. Uh, you can see that the oil paintings just looks amazing. It's beautiful. It actually reads really well too. I... Um, I like actually, I, I mean, I'm just trying, obviously I have it only for a few days, but um, as a morning draw, for example, I like to put this deck and also mix it with the Gaia, uh, I mean, Dreams of Gaia Tarot. I think they go energetically really well, maybe not so much as a um, art style, but there's something, maybe this earthiness, that um, sits well for me with these two decks. So you can try this. Um, I will show you a few of the cards. And the court cards are great. It's a specific type of deck and specific style. So if you're not really so keen on the you know, earthy, pipish decks, despite the fact that you might really appreciate the artwork um, that might not be a deck for you. Queen of Wands, I love her. How gorgeous is she, <laughs> little cat. So it does have this texture to it, which is amazing. So there's Four of Wands, full. So you know like how often Nine of Cups is said to be a card of pregnancy and you can also here see this little frog which is as a spirit animal often connected to water and to fertility and you know having sex and enjoying the physicality of it. So despite the fact that it's very kind of limited in the hints you can still get quite a lot of this little King of Swords. So beautiful. Ah. So 
that follows right there with Smith tradition quite closely. Those two leaning rocks. Magician by this finger, I command. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, this deck is kind of feels kind of sacred. <laughs> the feeling of it. There's the additional card, the seeker, which I want to keep in. I thought maybe uh, it will mean most of the time, like you know, kind of a little bit like a fool, um, just like go for it. That there's an opportunity to cross the veil, you know, and understand, gain an understanding of a holer picture than from what I think it's, you know, visible and understood right now. And there's also this additional uh, cards of the phases of the moon. Oh, I love this deck. So you've got the new moon. Devil. And you've got the the crescent moon and the gibbous oh no this the um, just the waxing and waning this is the waning moon and you have half moon and as you can see the moon has this golden kind of sheen on the card. It's gorgeous. I think these cards can help maybe to see the stage of a project or something like this. You can pull them and just shuffle, for example, and pull one and see um, what stage of completion you're in. High Priestess. Yes, yeah, so Pagan Other Worlds. Definitely, um, I'm not disappointed with this deck. So, highly recommend to anyone who likes decks like this. That's by Uzi. And this is the Shamanet Tarot deck. And this one I bought, I think, in second hand already. It comes with the additional card and with the booklet. So this is a small companion book. To be honest, I haven't read it yet. I just wanted to show you and share my first impressions about the decks. Um, these are the bags. And what can I say? Wow, with this deck, I'm not so sure about it yet. It's totally different. So I, I really enjoy the artwork. It's a beautiful artwork. But um, as uh, Anya from Tarot by Anya said, it's probably one of those decks that you have to read intuitively because um, and that's what the author's um, kind of intention was as well she says even that she um, I created the Shamanet Tarot because I wanted to use a deck that welcomed personal interpretation I use a technique when reading cards I like to call educated free association it's not uh, some fancy thing I made up it's just a name for using intuition really so as you know, as you can see, some of the meanings you can kind of vaguely get of Rider Waite Smith. But for example, the Five of Swords, like you've got to sit with this deck a little bit and let the images influence you, and you know, 
try to respond like eight of staves usually you know it's eight of wands so usually you have full-on speedy movement whereas here this guy seems like he cannot go forward so even the meanings are a bit changed I think um, in some of the cards at least but as you can see the artwork is very kind of dreamy and flowy definitely nice to approach our intuition from another angle and stretch it a bit more I will have to sit with this deck and see if I will be able to work with it because sometimes you know despite the fact that the images are beautiful and you love it it might not be just a deck for you and I thought I will like am like amazingly love this deck and I still love the artwork but somehow I don't know on the intuition side it still kind of sits quite quietly for me um, the court cuts are very expressive but they mostly like facial um, close-ups so yeah let me know what you think of this deck and if you have it and how you work with it I'll be interested to know um, Yeah, I'd love to. I will I will definitely give it a go. I won't get rid of it too quickly, but if it uh, doesn't change for me, if I don't feel um, connected to this deck, I will probably want to swap it for something which is closer to me right now. It took a while since I bought it and um, it managed to get, <laughs> get to me. Uh, you know, things change, but I'll see. So this is the Shamanet Tarot and I might get back to you on how I'm actually managing to work with it and see how it goes. Okay, so these two decks were the decks that I received uh, recently. I have also swapped with Mary from Spirit Speak and I'm waiting for um, the Iris Oracle and also I'm waiting for a Shining Tribe Tarot that a lovely person have sent to me as well. Um, so when it arrives I'm going to share it with you too. Okay, well, let's finish with some beautiful image. Seven of Cups, oh, that's not bad. Ah, oh, Death, that's pretty cool. So Shamanet Tarot and Pagan Other Worlds. Stay tuned for more. Bye.